How's it going? Trey Clark here. Just thought about this. I'm doing a little traveling. We're playing at Lucky's tonight, downtown Houston. And we'll be on the patio, probably right, right there in the middle of the fun stuff if Soros and friends decide to roll into town. But I uh, uh, wanted to just run through this real fast. I had to kind of brush up on a few laws to make sure that I'm in compliance with uh, carrying a firearm. And I'm not saying that I am or I'm not. I'm just saying if I decided to, I'd want to make sure I'm following the law. Uh, if you do not have a uh, concealed carry license, you have to open carry. And open carry, if you're going to carry it on your person, has to be in a holster, a hip holster, or a shoulder holster, or clipped onto your belt. That's it. You can't carry it around in your pocket. You can't carry it in your hand or something like that. So open carry, it has to be shown, obviously. So also in your car, it has to be visible. Just like if you go hunting, you've got to... That's why rifle racks were, you know, popular. Just to make sure when, when you got pulled over, they know that you, you had a firearm. So if you do get pulled over for, even if it's a routine stop, I don't think this is the law, but the best, I'm, I'm guessing most police officers would say the same thing. You'll have a, a, a if you have a firearm, it's gotta be visible, and you put your, your hands, uh, when they walk up to you, first thing you say is, officer, there's a loaded weapon, right there and I will not move my hands in any way I'll comply just tell me what you would like to do to go forward with whatever is going to happen and uh, and then they are allowed to take your firearm to inspect it but they have to give it back to you at the end of the stop it, it, otherwise it's an illegal seizure so as long as you're not breaking the law doing something else and that's that doesn't count for misdemeanors like speeding and stuff so just make sure you comply say it up front most police officers tell me if I'm wrong if you're on this thread will greatly appreciate not seeing it off to the side and you know heighten things so uh, and then just comply with whatever they say and then uh, if you happen to go in somewhere whether it's concealed carry or your open carry if there's a 51% sign and this is, has to do with places that serve alcohol for consumption make sure and this is in Texas make sure that you do not carry any weapon, any any firearm into that establishment. It is a felony and they do not mess around. I've had my name on TABC licenses and all that stuff and I've run restaurants and bars long enough to know they do not jack around. You don't, don't even forget that you have an unloaded weapon in your purse or something like that. You leave it in the car. And it's a 51% sign, the 5-1, and percent sign will be in red and it should be pretty visible as soon as you walk in and just don't take any chances with that so it's it, it's more trouble than it's worth and they don't mess around so just uh be safe it's a crazy time and a lot of people are carrying firearms when they when they normally wouldn't but the last thing you want to do is find yourself in trouble where you're not even trying to cause trouble but maybe you're distracted or busy or in a hurry and you forget to take your your pistol out of your purse or you accidentally throw out the glove box when it needs to be uh in plain sight and then you get pulled over you know what i mean just don't don't set yourself up for trouble you you don't need so anyway brush up on the there's all kinds of just go to the tabc website you can google anything that has to do with with gun uh legislation in Texas and pretty much everywhere else. So cheers guys, stay safe and uh, protect that second amendment, but do it with uh, some responsibility behind it. Cheers.